wanted me cutty. That bitch is a baby. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Aaliyah. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be all about how to get this look using only powder foundation. Yes, only powder foundation can still give you a full coverage but natural look and it feels super lightweight. So it's perfect for the summertime and it's also going to be transfer proof for when we have to wear these masks, unfortunately. But keep watching and I'll definitely be able to give you the keys on how to get this look. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my precisely my brow from Benefit. And I'm going to do my brows off camera because it usually takes too long for me. So, okay, so after I use the precisely my brow, I like to use the Absolute Radiant Concealer, Radiant Cover Concealer. Um, I really love this product because it basically looks super natural when you apply it. So I'll show you guys. Both the color and the texture make this really easy to get a natural look when you're trying to shape your brows. Because one thing I hate is having a super unnatural highlight surrounding my brows because I feel like it looks really crazy. <laughs> so, I know it looks crazy right now, but... Once you blend it out, it's going to look way better. So this concealer is really affordable, but I do have a code. I have a discount code that will get you 10% off, and it's Aaliyah10. I'll leave it in the description bar, so that way you guys can get 10% off. But Absolute is a really nice brand. I usually find them in the beauty supply store. Um, but they do have a store on 34th Street if you are from New York. If not, their website is really good to use as well. Yeah, so I basically do that. And the reason why I map out my brows is to make it look a lot more natural and even. And I'm just going to blend that out. So you guys can see already, it's really easy for me to blend this concealer out. I find that concealers that have more of a radiant finish are just a lot more natural looking for the brows. I used to use LA Pro concealer and I really like that one, but like it's really good if you want to do like a full face and stay on and make it real beat. But for this, especially for like every day, something more soft, how I've been liking my brows recently, I want to go for something that's more natural, you know? So yeah. I usually just blend it out like that and I know right here is looking a little bit ashy. I do have a tan and this shade is lighter than me. But you're going to see that go away once I even put my primer on. So if I keep looking to the side it's because it's my monitor. I just got a new one. So I'm looking to make sure that everything looks good on camera as well. Okay cool. So now that that's done we're going to set the brow hairs in place by using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And we're gonna place that all over the brow, going in an upward motion. The key here is to make your brows look as straight up as possible so that way you can have a really nice fluffy finish. The whole point of this look is to look natural but also snatched. So in order to achieve that look, there's little simple details that you can do to really give it that full face look, you know? Okay, so this product is definitely something I recommend if you're looking for that laminated brow look, but you don't necessarily wanna take the full step and commit to perming your brows, because that's what brow lamination is. It's literally you perming your brows. Next thing that I like to add on my brows to finish it off and to set it is the Hypnotize Fill in Brow Shaper by Il Maquillage. This is basically a brow gel for your brows as well. So yes, I do go on top with another brow gel, but what this one does is really define the hairs. And it really helps my hairs to stand out. So it gives my brows more of a fluffy look and less of like a penciled on look, you know? So next I'm going to go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is really good for keeping your makeup on all day long, but it also gives your face a nice hydrated glow. 
So at this point, because we are only using powder, I'm going to go in with some concealer. This one is from Il Maquillage and it's called Mystique 16. It's a correcting cream concealer. So it's really good for covering up any blemishes or dark marks that you may have. I happen to have a lot of acne marks on my sides of my cheek. So I'm going to use this to cover that right up. I really love this concealer, you guys. It's water-based, oil-free, so it's not going to clog your pores. And it just really glides over those dark marks really naturally. So you can see, gone and it matches my skin tone perfectly. So I pretty much put it on all my spots where I have any blemishes. Even if it's just like one blemish, I still put it just to help out our concealer. I mean, to help out our powder later on. And even if I was using liquid, I would also use this concealer because this just helps to be able to apply less product later. So as you can see, that concealer is on. I really, really love this stuff. Just going to make sure it's all completely blended in. That's just what I like to do personally. Can never blend too much okay so for the powder foundation today we're going to be using the Too Faced born this way multi-use complexion powder this is a powder that can be used by itself but you can also use this on top of your foundation as well so i'm in the color chai this is the color that matches me now since i've gotten a tan i don't know if it's going to change in the winter time but i've been trying so many different foundation products you guys like my my skin has been just bugging out in terms of color so none of my old stuff matches me um another good powder that you can use is the one from sephora collection i love that one but for today we're going to use this one i be using the elf powder brush to apply that definitely you want to use something that's more flat and something that can buff on the powder and we're just going to apply this all over the face So basically, as you can see, I put the foundation all over my face and it covered up everything really nice and really smooth. So the next thing that I did was apply some concealer. I applied concealer that was my same skin tone and that one was the Femme Flawless Concealer by Elle Maquillage in the shade 16. And now I'm going to highlight with this shade which is 13 and I'm going to go on my forehead, underneath my eye, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin and above my mouth. That is going to be my highlighting shade. Now, even though this concealer is very hydrating, we still want to work fast with it because we're using powder. So you just want to work super fast. You don't want to let it dry too crazy. Now I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set that concealer. Even though we're using powder foundation, we still want to set that concealer to make sure it doesn't crease and so that it doesn't come off the face in any way. So I know right now I'm looking a little casket ready. That's why this part is going to be very important. You want to definitely use a bronzer that's dark enough as well as a contour that's dark enough too. So. For my contour, I'm actually going to be using a bronzer as a contour because this one's much darker. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to be using Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. I know it's really hard to tell. No, you can actually see it. This one's much darker than this one is. So this is really going to give you the warmth that you need. And this is going to give you that contour and that sculpted look that you need. So... I'm going to be using this one from Winky Lux and it's in the shade Espresso. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and this is going to help to give the face some warmth. Okay, so the next step that I like to do, that, which is very important as well, is take the powder again that we used earlier. And I like to use this to basically blend together that highlight and that contour so that it can look really soft and natural.
Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be using is a blush from El Maquillage, and it is in the shade Toxic. It's a mineral baked blush, and it looks like this. Super pretty, super bronzy, super glowy for the summertime, and I love it. So what I like to do is smile first and bring it upward so that it can do a lifting action on my face. So I'm also going to apply this on my temples, like so, and on the tip of my nose, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using highlight. I'm actually gonna use two of them. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Cognac Candy, and I'm gonna apply that all over my areas that I usually do with highlight. So on my forehead, I just really love this highlight for the summertime. I think it looks so pretty. It's like the perfect amount of glitter. And you can put this all over. You can even put this on your body if you like. Definitely gonna put that over my eyelids. Really pretty. And I'm also going to go in with the Il Maquillage Highlighter in the shade Tan. This one is super gorgeous, you guys. So I usually work from the top. It is a loose highlighter. So next, before I move on to the eyes, I'm gonna set my face. So I'm gonna be using the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe just to kind of bring our skin back to life and look, make it look more hydrated. As you can see, it's instantly a lot more fresh looking. We're just gonna allow it to dry completely. And then because we want our whole look to last like all day and be transfer proof because we're wearing masks now i'm going to be going in with the urban decay all nighter and we all know the tea about this this stuff keeps you good for life so we're going to spray this all over as well so i just like to fan mine right away i actually need to get like one of those handheld fans because this is not it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that our setting spray and everything is done, I'm going to apply some of this Copper Pop from e.l.f. just in the corners, inner corners of my eye. And I'm also going to be applying my lashes. These lashes are actually from my brand, Lavender Elise. And... I really love them. They're 25 mm. And this is in the style Magnolia. You're going to see there's are absolutely beautiful, luxurious mink lashes. If you haven't checked out my website yet, I will link it down below, lavenderlease.com. Just a little shameless promo. I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, so this is my method for applying them. I like to apply my lashes, my lash glue to my lash line. And then I like to apply the lash on top. So... You're gonna see how easy this method makes it. I have so many tips and tricks when it comes to uh, applying lashes. I did make a video already about it, but I don't mind making another one, so I definitely will. So next to make the bottom lashes match the top, I'm gonna be using primer first. This one's from L'Oreal, and this is the Voluminous Base. And now I'm gonna be placing some mascara. I'm gonna be using the Large Lash Mascara from Pixie Beauty. And I'm also gonna use this on my top to basically kind of mold my lashes into the falsies.
I love this mascara, you guys. It is so bomb. So now I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm using my all-time favorite NYX lip liner in Downtown Beauty. It's from the Suede Matte Lip Collection. I really love this lip liner because it's a perfect neutral brown. So next I'm going to go in with this NARS Dulce Vita lipstick and I really like this shade because it's super natural, perfect for the summertime. It pretty much just looks like your lips, but just a little bit of oomph, you know? And then lastly, I'm going to finish it with the Buxom Full-On Lip uh, Plumping Polish. And this one is in the shade Claire. Such a pretty color for summer. I love it. So pretty. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but once I put on gloss, I just feel like, like I'm everything. All right, you guys, so that concludes this look. I hope you guys did enjoy. As you can see, it's very natural, very nice. Super lightweight on the skin, but it still looks on point and it's going to be transfer proof because of the primer that we use as well as the all-nighter spray those are like the two things that's really gonna help to keep your makeup on all day and transfer very little onto your masks so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up like this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't subscribe now that's fine because I know you're eventually going to subscribe as I post more and become more consistent it's going to pop up on your timeline, on your feed. You're going to see it. I'm claiming it. I'm calling it now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of me, I also post videos on Instagram. So you can follow me there. And as usual, I'm sending so much love your way. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.